Hi, I'm Will Tegel with Wisdom University, and I hold in my hand here a conch shell that was given to my great-grandmother by the Tonkawa Native Americans 160 years ago. And so Native American people have been using this and in my family throughout this time to signal danger and also to to call and wake people up and in a variety of ways. And so I think of this as being a, an opportunity for the large conch shell of the planet to wake us up to what is going on in the crisis today of our planet. And what is it that we're missing? We're missing being awake and aware to what's happening. What's going on in the Gulf right now of Mexico is certainly a wake-up call. And again, the question is, a wake-up to what? In my new book, Wild Heart, I'm not only calling for us to wake up, I'm pointing us in the direction of the possibility of connecting with nature in a new way. When we left the, the period of time that the indigenous people were living we left behind something that we desperately need. We, some of the, the advances that we have made, of course, are uh, uh, of enormous importance, but what we left behind is even more important, and that is our ability to be intimately connected with the depths of nature. This is what our foreparents had in their indigenous mind, in their primordial mind. And it, my book is about that, the recovery of the indigenous mind, the recovery of the shamanic mindset, this ability to communicate in the depths. And what happens when we do that? We learn how to be more intimately connected with all that is around us, all sentient beings. Now I have a question, and that is, why is it that so many of uh, cultural creatives are interested theoretically in sustainability, but when it comes time for us to actually practice sustainability and resilience, we seem to stumble? Well, I think my answer to that is that <clears throat> we do not connect deeply and personally with nature. Last year I was teaching in a situation and we were having the ability to go outside on a, on a crisp morning to meditate. After it was over and I came back into the facility, I was talking with one of the people who had remained indoors. And this particular person was filled with enthusiasm for <clears throat> the climate crisis that we're going through and in doing something about it. But as we were talking, this person said to me, I really would like to have been out there with you, but I don't like to go outside when it's this kind of weather. This kind of weather meaning about 45 degrees and a beautiful morning. Well, that's really a condition that many of us find ourselves in. We want to do something about our planetary situation, but when it's inconvenient, we stumble. The point of view that I want to advocate in this book and invite you to consider is the wilderness, the, the, the new definition of wilderness, is the wild heart comes when we make the deep connection with nature, when we, when we take the eight steps outside of our houses into that place where we can be challenged at least to get outside of our usual patterns and open ourselves to the larger picture and the larger possibility.